Okay guys, I'm here near the train station, ready to catch the train to London for Eurogame, of course. So I'm um, catching you from Southampton. So it's take about uh, an hour and a quarter. It's fairly early, it's like half seven-ish. So uh, yeah, the train's eight o'clock and uh, the tax service insisted on, make, on making sure that I had more than enough time to get here in case there was traffic. And I was like, it's early in the morning. Why would there be traffic? But uh, they insisted on it. So I was like, okay, you know this place better than I do. So I went along with it and guess what? I'm here quite early. So uh, there we are. Um, so I'm gonna catch the train to London and then catch the tube from Clapham Station over to uh, Earl's Court for Eurogamer. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good day, hopefully. So uh, yeah, let's, you know, I'm gonna go and get a Costa, I think, or something like that. Go and get a drink of coffee or some sort, wake myself up. Um, because some people in my halls of residence didn't get into like the early hours of the morning so of course they work everyone else up while they were coming back so uh, that's always good fun but uh, yeah let's uh, let's go and get a drink yeah just what I needed a nice cup of tea to hopefully wake me up a bit because I am so tired Okay, so I'm now at Clapham Junction. I'm going to be going, uh, catching the overground train to um, Earl's Court. Uh, well, sorry, sorry, West Brompton technically, but you know, um, it, the thing, um, my um, app told me to change to go to Earl's Court, but it's like, it's not really much point, you can walk it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk from West Brompton because it's really not that far. So uh, yeah, just waiting. It's going to be a few more minutes. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll update you when we're there. Literally just jumped straight in the queue for um, oh, zooming in there. Literally just jumped straight in the queue for uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, as you can see behind me, the stands just there. And uh, I mean, it's next gen, right? It feels next gen in the sense that the graphics do feel updated. It could have been pushed a bit further, I think. It still feels like Call of Duty. So if you like Call of Duty, then you're gonna like this. You know, it's 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 a no-brainer. So uh, you know, it still feels good. Um, our team won, which is a good thing as well. I play on a very small map, so you know, just getting I use the vector a lot. So that's feels good and um, you know it feels very Call of Duty that's what I'm gonna say so there's nothing new nothing too exciting so uh, yeah let's go play some more games so we're here in the press area um, we've got multi vlogs going on here we've got Arian sitting over there he's doing a vlog Hills are pretty close but you know <laughs> you want to introduce some hi I'm Brian I'm Captain Reloads on TNTubes go and subscribe Fit the stream around, see what I'm doing. Yeah, go subscribe to them both. Subscribe to Arian, he's not posting videos in a minute. Yeah, subscribe to Arian. If you don't like watching the news chat videos, subscribe to Arian. Arian. It's perfect for you. <laughs> exactly, so uh, yeah, go and do that. Um, so, what have we been doing? We've been out. Let's, let's hold what have we been doing? Standing outside, God knows how long. Watching the queue for Syndicate, which is freaking like really uh, massive. Yeah. That is what she said. Uh, and then everything. Then we play uh, Battlefield. We play. We play Battlefield. We, play oh, we haven't played Titanfall. I have. Well, oh, sorry, I haven't. He's played some of these. I played Ghosts. Um, something else. Forza. I played Forza. Played. God, I can't remember. Have we just been walking around? We've just been. We've, no, we didn't. The crew. Oh, the crew. We played the crew. Uh, another racing game. Um, watch the Watch Dogs presentation. That was really cool. Watch Dogs was really good. Honestly, go and check like more stuff about it. Um, no, Ubisoft don't pay me any money. It would be cool if were, right? And some other stuff as well. Like you know, I'm holding multiple cameras here. Um, yeah. I'm filming him while he's doing stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll speak to you guys later. See you later. Okay guys, so I'm back in my room now. Um, as usual, my phone went off there. As usual, day one um, of Eurogame, or the first time you're, you're there, it's sort of a bit mad and lots going on and lots to do and there was definitely a lot this year to see and a lot of people to meet and things. So basically, um, I just didn't get around to pulling out the camera and filming it again. So I apologize about that. 
but I'm now back in, uh, well, I'm, I'm in my hotel uh, for where I'm staying just, just one night. I'm heading back then to uni uh, tomorrow night after um, the second day for me of Eurogamer, but obviously the last day officially. And uh, yeah, you know, highlights of the day. Um, basically, I think I ended the day quite well because I ended the day playing Titanfall, which we queued for, I think we queued for near like two hours for. Um, but an hour, probably about, probably about an hour and a f hour, 40 minutes, something like that. And it was worth queuing for because it was a really good game. And what it did for me was it sort of clarified for me, like it clarified for me whether I'd be interested or not, because lots of people can be going on about it, but I sort of wasn't convinced that I would enjoy playing it. But the short time I played it, it sort of confirmed that yeah, it's, it's a really good game. It feels solid. It's pre-alpha and it just feels seamless. The gameplay is really fun. There's lots to do and it feels fresh at the same time. Uh, my window's open. Sorry about the noise. Shut that bit. So um, yeah, so it's a really good game. I'd say that's definitely one of my highlights. You know, I played a range of games today from Forza on the Xbox One to Call of Duty to... Um, uh, we watched Watch Dogs, went to a Watch Dogs conference, that was really, really cool, um, I think uh, they, they showed a bit of the game and that sold that for me as well, Watch Dogs was really good, it was live gameplay that uh, literally, um, there. this was the first time that they showed it in the UK and they'd only previously showed it inside of Japan, so that was really awesome, uh, that was on the PS4, that was really cool to see. Now tomorrow um, I'm going to make, I've been doing a lot of Xbox things, i played quite a few Xbox games today, so tomorrow I'm going to make a big deal out of the PS4. Now I'm lucky enough that I'm, I'm, uh, I, I got my hands on a special PlayStation band, meaning that I can skip the, the PS4 queue tomorrow tomorrow and actually play some of the games. Hopefully it allows me to sort of come and go as I please and I'll try and play as much of that as possible. Uh, quick thought on the Xbox One controller, I'm going to do all of these in sort of depth. Um, I'm going to be, my plan is to make a video on pretty much every game I played at Eurogamer, uh, including a separate one uh, on my thoughts on the Xbox One. Uh, so stay tuned for that and the PS4 obviously uh, tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to do an in-depth uh, in depth view on that. But just quick thought on the Xbox One controller. Um, it's very similar in a lot of aspects to the 360, but I feel the changes they made to it either weren't for me a big deal or were things that actually made it worse in my opinion. For instance, the right thumbstick, for me, it feels cramped. Like the controller feels a bit more cramped than it does the 360. This may just be me. Uh, but it did feel a bit more cramped. And I'm used to the 360 controller now. I've been using the 360 for quite some time. I've not used the PS3 so much uh, recently. So the, the right thumbstick just didn't feel right. It just felt in an awkward place. It felt like my thumb was straining. So I don't know why they moved that. It felt perfectly fine before. So I don't know why they changed that. But it's definitely... Um, as, like, I played a good few games on the Xbox One, as I said. It definitely doesn't feel right. So and the impulse triggers are pretty cool. Um, I, I only really meant got a chance to look at that. Um, on Forza. So um, on Forza it was really weird because I because none of the other games had them activated like Call of Duty Ghosts, anything like that. They weren't sort of activated and uh, no vibration at all I had in Call of Duty Ghosts. So um, it was really weird but um, once you got used to it, it it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool but I think I'd probably be turning it off more than anything. But anyway, that's my brief opinion on that. I'll be as I said making a more in-depth video. Uh, but there we are. You know Eurogamer, my first day there this year. It was really good. Um, so far, I'm not sure if it was better than last year or not. I really enjoyed last year, and I don't think this has beat it in my head uh, so far. But I met lots of people, that's really cool. You know, I met people like Arian, um, I met Mr. Dalek JD, Vicstar. Um, I'm gonna miss people out now. Oh, God. Some of Arian's friends, which I always forget the name of. If you're watching this, I really apologize. Um, I forget their names. There are other YouTubers as well, but I forget their names all the time. Sorry, I apologize. I'm terrible with new names. Um, so, you know, that's really cool. Had a really cool day. And uh, yeah, now I'm here with really slow internet. I'm going to edit this on the MacBook Air and then upload it. So I'm shattered, as you can probably see. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get that done. So yeah, get up decent time for Eurogamer day two for me tomorrow. Um, the plan is to get a lot more footage of the event tomorrow and then maybe do a Eurogamer sort of mashup, uh, best bits, that sort of thing. I'm hoping to do that. So, uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Uh, leave any feedback in the comment section down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you on the next video. As always, drink tea and game on.